Okay. He had some kind of sticker on his shirt. So I removed it. No big deal. I was telling him, you know, 45 pound barbell. We're here again, repeating, but respect the weight. Move your chin out the way. Move your head out the way when you're pushing it up. And once he gets fatigued from strict presses, move on to push press, which means you drive your legs and then push using the momentum. Driving from your legs, pushing with your arms, in sequence, to complete the move and have stability in the overhead press position. He doesn't seem to lock it out. Okay, there he goes, good. Also, to be fair, you know, I wake him up in the morning and I'm like, let's go in and do some gym. So it's kind of half awake to, you know. Did some shrugs right here. He's a little short. So the, it's challenging for him to get the barbell off of the rack. Unless he has like the pads underneath. shirt today. An old gym I used to go to. Gave me this shirt because uh, kept paying my monthly membership during COVID. Even though the gym was closed down due to the California laws and all that craziness. And they started moving all their equipment outside, which is impressive. But it was too far away from me and I wasn't going into work as often, which was the reason I was going to the gym during lunch for my work in Mission Valley, but here I was telling him, you know, you're trying to do as much work as possible, so the di the jerk is dip, drive dip, you know. and then I told him we're going to do some overhead presses, some push presses, some jerks if you need to, then... But for the warm-up, I was telling him to do some good mornings. Feel the tension in your hamstrings. And I was just telling him, you know, you need to feel the tension in your hamstrings, your quads, your chest, your lats, your back, your traps, your shoulders, your forearms, your biceps, your triceps, your glutes. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> okay. I got on the bike. See, any time I get on the bike, he starts doing some interesting things. He's finding his way. You know, it's a journey, so can't walk it for him. Good depth. He's rushing it, though. It's not a rush, not a race. I believe to have effective muscle development and growth. You should pause, do some like some of those tempo squats. You like count like down to three on the way down on the descent, count to three on the way up on the ascent. It's good to hold the position in the bottom position too. I was telling about control later on. I emphasize on control, especially on the descent, the deadlift. Maintaining tension because you don't want your body to go lax, have the weight crash down on you or crash to the floor. Front squats. I was doing a warm up right here while he jumped on the bike for 10 calories. I jumped on the bike after him, so he only had like 6.7, but that's alright. Trying to develop his legs. He's strong on his upper body, but his legs need work. Here's some good mornings. Nice and slow and steady. Feel the 
tension in your hamstrings. Back squats. For the warm up. Some deadlift. That first one seemed weird. I think I bent my knees. I didn't want to bend my knees. Re-rack. Christian's done. Only takes about a minute to do 10 calories. It's good to mix in some cardio, some weightlifting. Told him he needs to push himself a little. Not be so easy on himself and coddle himself. That's a strict press. Doing some shrugs. Not a strict press. Two. Three. Push press. Good. Push press. I told him it's all about knowing your limitations. He should have completed the rep, as in bringing the bar back to his chest before re racking. Just to get in the habit, because if it's weighted, I've seen it not go well if somebody tries to like have a heavy weight and then try to step forward while descending the barbell. So. I did like 10 strict press of just the barbell. It's pretty tough. I needed some weight though. It's too light. Lightweight, baby. Set up, just break it out whenever. I don't even gotta really move the bike or anything for the bike. Gotta move the rower, it's in the back, but the screen's busted. One, 65 pound, strict press, two, three, I think I only do seven, four, it got pretty tough, five. Six, seven, need a massage, can't afford it, rent and stew, nothing wrong with taking a rest break, the music was not hitting today. the jump rope, but it's a pretty tight space. I'm gonna park the car outside the garage. I don't wanna <sighs> bring it over there and smack it with the rope. The jump rope has like a metal fiber on the inside. It's RX jump rope. I was telling him about listening and being receptive to the coach. Dip. That's a re last resort when you're fatigued. Second to last resort is push press. As you can use your legs to drive the barbell up with the momentum. And if you twist your knees out with the, and then hip hinge, you create a lot of tension in your hamstrings, which generates a lot of power for the force to move the barbell overhead. So. I'll show you later, but I do a heavy weight at a push press just to show them it can be done. I'm gonna shrug. 
looks for me. It's, it's like a semi push press jerk. <laughs> it's heavy, 65, so I mean, it's 95 pounds. Oh, he's doing that. Again, I'll have to talk to him about it, but don't do that. Don't step forward to re-rack while the barbell is descending to your chest. Complete the rep. And there's no shame or judgment in lowering the weight. You can always do more reps at a lower weight instead of lower reps at a higher weight. Everybody always thinks like, oh, I gotta go in and get a personal record, personal best today, PR, PB. Nope. It's all about growth. As long as you can, and I, t I was telling him later, you're, you're, you gotta trust yourself, trust your body, it gets stronger. Maybe not the next day, or if you need to like recover, if you really go hard. But most most times, like a few days later, you can do more weight or more reps at the same weight than you could that previous session. Hmm. Ten cal on the bike. One minute. Heart rate up. It's good to mix in the, the assault bike with the weight lifting so you know how you can perform at a high heart rate under heavy weight. It's my San Diego Padres hat, but it's my National University alumni hat too. I think they're giving out a lot of those at my bachelor's degree graduation. I've got like five of them up here I wear a lot. They're just beat up hats. I need to get a nice one. Let's see back in a red San Diego Padres hat. Three. Four. Five. 65 strict press. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Maybe I was, maybe I didn't do 10. Oh well. Sometimes you miscount. Or sometimes I need a heavier weight. But I don't think, oh, I just reached out I was telling Christian this too in the garage and the gym, gym nine. Oh yeah, I reset these pads because it doesn't really make sense. We're not dropping the barbell on the ground. We need more space for our feet to do the movement. Am I yawning? I shouldn't yawn in the gym. It was morning though. I think I wanted him to do more reps before I put on the 95 pound. Oh, we got our sweat on this morning. I think this is like a 40 minute session, so it's a good time. Back to the bike. Strict press, Christian, 45 pounds. One. Two. That's tough. Three. You shouldn't look at me while you're doing it, son. <laughs> Three strict press. Uh, I think he's moving on to clean and jerks, he said. Uh, oh, yeah, I think he let the barbell touch the ground. I was like, oh no. I heard it. Clean. Uh, 
guess. I guess want to be split jerk kind of, but press press strict. I guess. I told him when you let the barbell hit the deck and a gem, it's a penalty, and you be you're rewarded with burpees. So just don't let the barbell hit the deck to preserve the equipment as long as we can. Because the barbells are like 600 bucks. But I got this one off Facebook for like some guy for 180. That's a good one. I think it's a, it's a, it's a Bergener barbell from Rogue. It's got a slight bend in the middle, a little warp, but it's all good. Coaching. He's gonna be, he wants to be an attorney, so I think he's gonna do well. Five, huh? Strict press. I don't think I could. I don't think I'd do it. I don't think I did it. It's too heavy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had to resort. Re resort. Resort. Re revert. Both. To push press. Nope. <laughs> He's like, you can do it. I'm like, no, I can't. It's too heavy. Oh, what I was saying was, um, I reached out to this guy on Facebook Marketplace. Hopefully they get back to me, but I'm trying to get some more tens and fives so that we don't have such a huge jump from 65 to 95 because it's challenging for him. And we need that more incremental gain, so I'll have to ping him again. It is holiday weekend, Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Alright, I reached out to the guy again. It's only 30 bucks. For two tens and two fives. It's a good deal. Dollar per pound, right? He asked if I could spot him. It's 95. Tough. Back squat. It's body weight. Someday maybe we could get him to a body weight snatch. That'd be awesome. Yes, if I could change the song, I think. Oof. Yeah, I was telling him that thing. I don't think it's going low enough, but that last one he did, so. And you could tell it was effective because he started getting wobbly.
push press. I was push pressing what he was back squatting. I couldn't strike press it though. And I was teaching him too. You really gotta drive. Oh, and then don't do that. I was just what I was saying earlier. Don't do that descent. Walk forward. Mistake. Okay, I think I was moving on to back squats. So I'm gonna flip my hat. and harder and there's like a scale on like hardest given in his full effort and then given zero effort or giving like lackadaisical effort kind of like how he's like on the bike the assault bike kind of just chilling you need to be able to push yourself harder because the if you go look up the hundred words of crossfit it says go fast you know if you want to get better you're gonna have to push yourself um, beyond your limits that are comfortable. Comfort is the enemy. It doesn't need to be so close to the wall, so. Yeah, so, son, you need to push yourself a little bit. You know, get your sweat on. Ex you know, test your muscles, test your body, challenge it, find your limits. Know your limitations. Back on the bike. I should have been spotting him. But he's fine. I was on the bike for a bit. He should have gone a little lower, but it's a heavyweight, so respect. weights would help with his back squat too. <laughs> Got done with my bike session. He's loading more weight. I guess I was out of breath for a little bit. I was hyping him up. Fifteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. telling them, you know, there's no shame in doing less weight and more reps. You still get stronger that way. It's actually more beneficial to do it at a, oh, that's what I was telling them, at a moderate heavy weight. That's what I was telling them when I was gesturing earlier with my hands. I was telling them, you don't need to go too hard, like too heavy, but you don't want to go too light. Moderate's good for moderate reps, but moderate heavy is like that happy medium where you get the muscle development good. I think he's got a pool thing at 3 o'clock, so his legs are going to be probably sore. He's going to his friends or something. Tell him to get lower. It's only 95 pounds. For the back squat. Gotta get lower. The hips need to break below parallel of the knees. And there's no shame in going lower if you can't do it. It's time to fist bump. I told him I was going to show him a push press at 115. Like spring your legs two down, two, and then I was telling him I could hold it there like all day. Maybe that I told him on the third press. Three. Oh, to the back. To back squats. Thank you. Grateful. <laughs> Grateful to the gym. Grateful to the barbell and the weights. I think I told him we can move on to deadlifts. Start moving the rower out the way awkwardly. For some reason. So we have plenty of space.
also occasionally while I'm at my computer here. I got a 30 pound dumbbell I'll do strict overhead presses with single arm. Push presses before you put the bar down. Oh yeah. So done with my shrugs, but immediately saw the problem again, which he asked about. White fuzz is still in my head. So he's got three on three, but I want two, two, two. And he said, why? Why? And I said, because it makes the floor even with the weight. Now if I pull it away, I'm giving myself an advantage because the weight is higher off the ground. Which, I mean, I understand it's a smaller weight size, but just to practice good principles and form and technique. Keep the a level flooring between you and the weights that you're working with. Kept forgetting some cues, like his head's looking straight ahead. Just tell him to keep a neutral, neutral neck position with the spine. several cues you have to say in your mind while it's only a three second movement you have to keep in mind keeping your hamstrings engaged keeping your neck in a neutral position with your back not dropping the weight and maintaining control on the ascent and descent I was like that's smart go ahead and hold the wall ball while I perform the movement and you observe the form Hips go all the way back. Your back is almost parallel to the deck. Your upper torso with your neck. Hips are all the way back. That really creates a lot of tension in the hamstrings. Then you bend your knees when you pass your knees. Your knees naturally come out of the way when you start standing with the barbell. I think we want a little... I was like, you want to go heavier because it's pretty light. So 95. this session I know the cleans and jerks and the snatches you know they're all complex challenging movements to learn so I'm just happy that he's put in effort you know he's receptive to learning being coached being coachable is a important skill set oh, neck Yes, I know. Better control the descent. I told him I want you to do three things. Control the descent. Neutral neck position. Yep, here's the three things. And barbell close to the body. Neutral neck position. One. With your back. Putting your back. Not like that. Can't keep your head up. You're gonna hurt your neck. Back. Butt's going back. Do this, you're gonna hurt yourself. All that twist and shit. No twist. Neutral neck position. Put your back. I know it's repetitive. It's how we learn. Repetition.
he was looking at the phone. I'm like, what are you looking at? He's like, I'm checking out how long we've been here. It's like, don't worry about the time, bro. It's timeless. Some deadlifts at 95. Showing him position, form, check. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. And make sure you like and subscribe. down the bar, getting sweaty. I asked if he wanted to increase weight. I think he said he was comfortable with this one. Shrugs. For moi. Three points of performance. Neutral neck position with the back. Nope. And then he just said yes, that he understood. Bar close to the body. Control the descent. You can probably see some of his vascularity. He's, it's going well. It's got some muscle definition coming in. I told him, yeah, also in the 100 words of CrossFit, saying five to six days a week. We just had a rest day yesterday, so we need to get back to it. Can't go easy on yourself. Fist bump. Oh yeah, I was doing deadlifts at like 225 the other day. I think just a couple, but... It was nice. We didn't even bench today. Off. 115 deadlift. Lots of talking, huh? Lots of teaching. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I was telling them. This is 115. I was like, you think I could snatch this? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> I was like, I'm tired. I pulled it up. I'm like, not even from the hang. I can't even snatch it. I was like, maybe I could do a clean and jerk. Let's try that. Clean. 115. Jerk. 115. Control the descent. Left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good enough. I think I said I wanted to see him do it this way. You gotta believe in yourself. You become stronger every day. So, you trust your body. It's like my forearm hurts. I'm like, this isn't a forearm movement. You're just holding on the bar and standing up. I told him you could do switch grip if you want, but he did not. Doesn't look like he's doing hook grip. See? Looked good. No problem. 115 deadlift. Good job. Good job, Christian. I think uh, this is the end of the video. So, thanks for tuning in.